Hi, I'm Dr. Thomas Armstrong, and today I'm talking about Howard Gardner's theory of multiple intelligences. One of the things we'll look at today is how Dr. Gardner came up with these eight or nine intelligences. And one of the features that he looked at in order for an intelligence to be on his list was a very interesting perspective on people that we've called savants. If you've ever seen the movie Rain Man, that was about a savant who was very logic or number smart. If you recall the movie, uh, Raymond in the movie Rain Man was able to multiply five digit numbers times the uh, other five digit numbers and come up with the answer in a matter of seconds. Dr. Gardner says that there are examples of savants in each of the eight or nine intelligences. We have savants in word smart, for example, people we call hyperlexics. These are people with low IQ scores who can read the dictionary, who are fluent in decoding and yet may not even understand what they're reading. There are music savants. I had the pleasure of meeting one many years ago, um, an individual named Gloria Lenhoff who has Williams syndrome and her IQ is 55, but she can sing opera in 26 different languages, including Chinese. So it really begin to understand the world of what we call the disabled, but now we're beginning to see that people who with disabilities aren't disabled in all the intelligences necessarily. And so having this understanding can help us work with people who have special needs, identifying their strengths and helping them use their strengths to overcome their disabilities. For more information about the theory of multiple intelligences, see my books, Seven Kinds of Smart, Identifying and Developing Your Multiple Intelligences. That's for adult learners and high school and college students. My book, Multiple Intelligences in the Classroom. This is for the K-12 teacher. And in their own way, discovering and encouraging your child's multiple intelligences. And this is designed specifically for parents. Thank you.